What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I actually just got back from driving around the lake and you know, I thought I would share a fishing port slash ice report kind of deal. So I headed out this, uh, about, I think it was about one o'clock or so, I headed out to drive around and check the usual areas around the lake and see if there has been any skim ice forming out um, in the early ice areas here on Lake St. Clair and honestly where people are usually fishing there isn't any ice just yet but there is some hope to be had uh, a, lar a large amount of the marshy backwater shallow water areas are skimmed over even this afternoon. So that doesn't tell us that we're gonna be walking on ice anytime soon, but what that is telling me is that there could be a lot of nearshore action um, in some of these marinas and canals. So if you have a John boat, a duck boat, something that you can get out in right now and work these canals and marinas, you should be able to locate some nice bluegill uh, crappie and yellow perch throughout the entire lake system. Um, if you're looking for musky, I would definitely head to uh, either Harley Ensign, fish off on the point there, the point at Metro, um, the spillway mouth as well. There has been catches of musky at all those locations already. Um, if you're looking for walleye and you want to stick to the shore, you know, hit those normal uh, shore spots like the Metro Point. Uh, area does produce on a fairly consistent basis. Uh, the pier at Brandenburg Park has been known to produce a few every now and again as well. And you might even get a few over off of Harley at night as well. Um, but if you're looking for the ability to go out and troll cranks anywhere near shore that you normally find them in the spring, will generally be a good place. But a fan favorite this time of the year is down around the Delphine Channel uh, down in Gross Point. Now for those of you that are wanting to go ice fishing and just don't want to wait for our backyard to freeze, you're going to need to head north. Um, had a conversation this morning uh, with Steve from Pilgrim Village. Uh, he would not be shocked to see guys in some of the smaller bodies of water uh, potentially this weekend at the earliest. Um, I did just get, uh, was texting back and forth with my customer up in St. Helen, um, at the Minnow Bucket, and he shared with me this picture. Yes! Yes! So, if you make a few phone calls to the shops in Northern Michigan, you might be able to locate some of that early ice, um, I know a few weeks ago I was up around Mayo and saw lots of skim ice all over there. And I know on the National Forest property there's a lot of small lakes that you can access that might be worth checking out if you're just wanting to go walk on some hard water and you're just impatient and tired of waiting for us down here to freeze. Uh, but, you know, talking with all those customers up there, for the most part we are on pace for the same kind of ice development as we had last year, if not maybe a little bit earlier. Um, I believe Steve at Pilgrim Village said they had three to four inches by December 15th or 20th of last year. They were on those lakes there. So if they can get skimmed over, they can make some really nice weather or some really nice ice uh, really quick. Uh, we do have one day that's gonna be a little bit warm this week, but for the most part, we're freezing every night and it's been fairly cloudy so we're not losing that skim ice super fast so we're getting closer folks uh just to give you a quick update and kind of give you a heads up that hey if you want to go ice fish head north um but yeah so that's kind of kind of be my first ice and fish report of the fall slash winter and it's been a while getting back in the groove with got with everything here guys so stick to stick to the channel uh if you're not subscribed do hit that red subscribe button and make sure you ding the notification bell and if you are in need of any of my merch, cool new feature that I'm not eligible for here on YouTube, just write down below the video, uh, you can actually check it out. Um, if you're looking for an alternative place to view my videos, I am going to be sharing them over on Rumble as well. It's kind of a YouTube alternative, uh, where YouTube used to be. 
and they actually help the creators out a heck of a lot more than YouTube does on the financial side of things. So if you want to give me a, as they call it, a rumble, uh, go on over there. Uh, same same name, JC Dropshot, as well over there. You can find me. As always, guys, tight lines, happy casting, and we'll see you in the next video.